Okay, today we're going to show you how to load a thumb drive for a 2005 Honda Goldwing. Over here I've plugged in my USB thumb drive on disk E, so first thing we want to do is go over here to the Virtual Music Manager and we want to uh, clean uh, the uh, disk out. So what we're going to do is first we're going to set the destination drive folder to uh, disk E. So go to my computer, disk E, we're doing OK. So we're going to go to File, we're going to clean the external uh, memory card or thumb drive. We can see over here that we've got the song showing up. Uh, we've got two choices. I don't want to delete or I do, I've reviewed the list and I agree to delete it. So what we're going to do here is now we're going to go clean the uh, E drive. Are you really sure you want to clean it? And I says yes. So let's go ahead and clean this guy. So it's, it's cleaning the thumb drive so that we start out with a, a fresh uh, load on uh, uh, loading the music. It's going to take a little while for this to occur. We just watch these songs get blown away on the uh, E drive. Uh, one thing uh, of importance though is if it finds anything on the thumb drive besides music files, and those are uh, executables or DLLs, the software will quit and won't even try to do it. Uh, you'll have to uh, clean the thumb drive manually. That's a protection built into it to uh, make sure that you don't accidentally clean out the uh, C drive in your main computer. Okay, so everything has been uh, cleaned. Now we're ready to go over to the computer and I've got all of my songs uh, stored uh, uh, down here in the users folder and my public uh, music uh, directory path, public music. You can see that I've got uh, lots of music files here loaded uh, onto my computer. So what we're going to do is uh, use the drag and drop method from the uh, file explorer on your computer and we're going to drag them over to the uh, music uh, manager. So today what I'm going to do is I want to uh, work with some classical music first. And it looks like I've got 108 songs and then I want some country western music so I'm going to drag those over there. And I want some lap music. I'm going to drag those over there. Uh, let's uh, go over here to the uh, another folder here. I've got some more songs. I'm going to start dragging over America. Uh, how about some Bee Gees? Uh, Billy Joel. Uh, Boss Gags. Boy, we're just going to have one heck of a thumb drive on here. Bruce uh, Springsteen. So I just highlight it and I just drag it over here. So currently we've got 298 songs uh, loaded into the input queue. We're not really loading the songs in there, we're just loading the title. So nothing really is being transferred at this point. We're just creating a list of those songs that we want to choose from. Uh, Elton John, Elvis. Uh, so we're just going to get a little bit of everything. So we've got 520 songs uh, currently on there. Now on the 2005 Honda Goldwing, it only supports uh, six CD volumes. So we're going to choose six on there and a maximum of 54 songs. If we try to put 99 on there, the Honda Goldwing uh, radio is going to lock up and uh, unhappy things happen. So we're not, we're not going to try to overload it. So we're going to choose uh, you know, six volumes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to randomly load the music into CD1. And what happens is they'll just randomly take the songs from the left side and put them over to the right side. So as we can see, uh, over here we've got the classical music, uh, we've got oldies, we've got rock, uh, we've got some alternative music, new age. So we're basically going to have uh, a mix of a whole bunch of things on there. So push the load random. There we go. We've got 54 songs on CD2, CD3. CD4, CD5, CD6. And what it does is when it pulls the songs from the left side and it puts them over on the right side, it, it does a randomized function there so that when you listen to the music, everything's going to come out random. But uh, let's say that uh, you want to randomize it again. So you can scramble the list here as you wish. Or if you wanted to see what's actually on there, you could do a sort by title or a sort by artist, a sort by album, album or a sort by genre. So I'll just scramble this list again. Now we're ready to cut the uh, thumb drive. So we're going to come over here to File. Uh, we're going to select Copy to the Thumb Drive. And we're going to select the 6 Disk Option button here, which is what the 2005 Goldwing can support. And then we're going to start the copy. It 
as you can see the songs are copying over on CD1 copying the tracks the bytes written we can see that things are moving along uh, we've got the babble box down here if something shows up in the babble box it usually means we've got a song with a duplicate title uh, it won't override a song with a duplicate title uh, just kind of a protection so that you don't access, you know get too many of the same songs on there uh, if you do want uh, the song with the same title but different artists, uh, you probably best to go in there and rename the uh, uh, the title of the song over in your file explorer. Okay, as you can see, we've completed the copy. Uh, we've got one warning message down here. Uh, we've, we did find one duplicate song with a duplicate title that didn't copy over. Uh, looking on the bottom down here, you can see that uh, uh, CD1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, all picked up uh, 54 songs. We have a total of 324 songs on there that say one didn't get copied over. And we can cancel out of this thing. Uh, go over here to the uh, file explorer. Uh, let's save the current configuration. Uh, let's give this uh, thing a title. Uh, give it a, you know any kind of a title you want. .cfg. We're going to call it uh, My Music. Uh, My Music 10. Just create a title. That way uh, we can come back later on. Uh, and as we go up here, if if we want to you know clear everything from the list and later on decide, oh, I'd like to. Uh, reload the uh, the thumb drive because you know I just want to reload it so let's go down here we can uh, restore a previous configuration uh, there's my music 10 bring it back in we could uh, recreate that thumb drive or modify it uh, as we wish if we go over here to the file explorer and we uh, scroll down here to the E drive you can see that in the root directory we've got 54 songs and uh, all the CD uh, uh, volumes here are correctly populated. Uh, we can now remove the thumb drive and install it in the Honda Goldwing motorcycle and we're good to go. Have a nice day.